Hello, Molly Hollabaugh here. Welcome to the Zentangle Project Pack number two video series. Uh, this video series is all about our 12 Days of Zentangle uh, series, but there's a little bit of preparation that needed to happen before we could get you going. So I'm gonna just spend a little time getting um, all your materials ready for you in this segment. What you're gonna need right now is a um, some sort of um, sticking agent here. I'm gonna use a regular old glue stick, but if you have some double stick tape, that would also work. So either one of those would work. You can put those aside. You're also gonna need a regular pair of scissors, obviously not in our project pack, but you're gonna need a pair of scissors, any one kind will do. And then you're going to need both your white Zendala and your black Zendala. Both of these should be blank and we're going to do something a little bit fun with them. This particular day is um, is going to play homage, pay homage to the introduction of the Black Zendala, but we uh, have this fun project that incorporates both of them here. So you can um, put that Black Zendala aside for a minute and just take the White Zendala in your hand, and we're going to gently fold that White Zendala in half so that the edges meet up. And you don't really need to have put too much of a strong crease on it, just a nice soft fold. We don't want to fold it too much. So just, um, to me, it looks like a taco shell. Now with a nice soft fold on the bottom. Now comes time for what we call the cut it out portion. And we're gonna simply um, just kind of wing it with some abstract shapes here, something like this. So I'm gonna kind of play with a little shape here that kind of maybe looks like crescent moon or something like that. Not too crazy like that. And then I'm going to do another one here towards the bottom. Like that. I'm gonna open it up to see, oh, that's kind of interesting. It's kind of cool. I think I'm gonna add some more. You may like how that is, and in the end it doesn't really matter because we're gonna be drawing all over it, but I'm gonna fold it in the other direction now. Again, nice and soft. And this part's a little bit more tricky. You gotta make sure you're looking at both sides. And I'm gonna add some smaller little cutouts. You just gotta make sure you don't cut over any other shapes you've already done. So I'm just gonna do a tiny little sort of diamond, half of a diamond shape. And then another one right here. You wanna go too crazy. Maybe just the two cutouts would have been fine. But this is what I have here. I kind of like that it's not symmetrical anymore and I have some interesting shapes going on. And these are gonna kind of become the string for our project tomorrow. So once you have your shapes cut out, we're gonna simply take the white Zendala and we're gonna glue it on top of the black Zendala like so, okay? So get your black Zendala close by, take your glue stick or double stick tape, whichever works better for you, and just get that so that all the surface will connect to the Zendala. I'm not worried about it being too perfect. I just wanna make sure it sticks. So I get that all over. Simply turn it over. I like the glue stick because I can kind of move it a little bit afterwards if I need to. The tape works real well, but you kind of got like one shot with it and carefully kind of push all the areas down so there's, you make sure they all got stuck, and then you're done. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna show you guys one more time with another one. Simply fold it in half, quick crease, not too much. Take your scissors and uh, play with some sort of an interesting shape. Maybe one or two cuts 
I'm gonna make this one go a little bit further down just for fun. Open it up. And I might, um, and just carefully playing with the paper to make sure you're not ripping or, and I think I'm just gonna do two little diamond shapes here. Because again, in that second fold, you wanna make sure you're not cutting spaces that are already cut. So you really need to be looking at both sides. Again, this is something interesting. I really like that moon shape. But don't overthink this too much because the tangles are gonna really take over. This really just creates kind of a, a platform. So again, we're just putting down the glue on that back side. Finding your other half and then gently pressing it down. So I have three different samples here to show you guys. They're all a little bit different, but they're all work. So get yours ready and bye-bye. Uh,